What's going on guys, Evolution here and welcome to Rust. So guys, Rust has been around for quite a long while now and I've finally gone ahead and bought it off Steam. And uh, i got to say, it was it was a wise move. It's a really awesome game. I've played it for a good few hours now and every time, you know, I've got a nice little base up and in the end we always got raided. So I've got a bit of knowledge now, so I thought why the hell not start a nice little solo series. Well, I say solo, let's leave that open because there's always the chance of running into other players in this game. And there's there's a lot of crazy people around as well. But no, just to give you a brief overview, it's pretty much survival based game. I want to compare it to Seven Days to Die because it's got a few aspects such as the whole survival and the fortification and base building. Um, but it's also something completely different, I guess. But overall, I think it's an amazing game. You can't go wrong with it. And hopefully, we should have some uh, fun adventures on it. So there's a few things you need to worry about. Um, animals and zombies. Like, zombies, they, they can kill you if you don't know how to run away from them. As long with uh, bears. Like, there's deers, pigs, bears. And bears are pretty scary. I mean, if they chase you and you get on the wrong side of them, you're dead, mate. And also, of course, you need to worry about your food. So your food will gradually decrease depending on how much you kind of use your player. So right now whilst I'm trying to gather wood, obviously his food, uh, hunger, is obviously decreasing more. Uh, and it will slowly decrease over time even if you're not doing anything. And I mean it can be quite hard to get food at times, especially once you're a new player and you don't really understand what the hell you're doing. You're just running around like a headless chicken, slightly confused to what you're supposed to be doing. And of course that's all you really need to worry about until you end up finding players I mean some people can be nice and others may just shoot you but I mean that's that's what you get for a PvP game so I guess our first objective is to gather some wood and build up build up a base a nice little shelter for the night because it, when it turns night it's dark holy shit so there's my point of a bear and uh, you may say my reaction was was a bit a bit exaggerated, but that's an understatement. Bears scare the hell out of me. They they always kill me. We're gonna try and kill this pig so we can get some uh, so we can get some meat. Oh god! I, oh, I can hear the bear behind me. This is horrible. So you know, obviously I wanted to start the opening episode to this amazing series, being chased by what it sounds like a wolf and a bear. Perfect. So welcome to Rust, guys. But in the meantime, whilst we're uh, trying to run away, ouch, we've just got bitten. Whilst we're uh, trying to lose this bear and this wolf, get them off my tail, and let's discuss what we're kind of going to get done today. So, I'm going to do something a bit different for editing for this series. Like, if you're a common viewer on my channel, you kind of know I like to leave stuff unedited and like a let's play. Whereas, Rust, I think I'm going to try and cut up and uh, hopefully it'll be a bit more entertaining. So I'm definitely going to put a lot of effort into the editing stuff and try and cut the boring bits out because Rust can be quite time consuming, especially when you're trying to... Jesus, that wolf is not giving up, is it? It's not. So we did actually spawn and buy a few buildings, which which is pretty good. Usually you spawn in the middle of nowhere. In fact, I recognise this area quite a bit, so we can just get a few materials. I wish we'd stop getting bothered by these bloody animals so I can just live my life peacefully oh my god alright let's, oh someone's even built a base here oh wow we got some 9mm ammo was it alright let's make a break for it guys let's do this so not a good start to be honest we're just getting we're getting attacked by a few wilderness animals though. It's a scary place out in the wilderness. Is there anything we can loot over here? I don't think there is, so let's leave this. I saw a stone earlier which we could gather some resources from. Oh, we got some cloth, that's good. And of course we've still got the wolf on our tail. I think it's a wolf, who knows. I'm gonna call it a wolf. It's kinda of barking at me somewhat like a wolf. So we'll call him Wolfie. Oh my jeez. Oh, we've got bears down there as well. 
Man, this is annoying. So we finally lost the freaking wolf, and now uh, we found ourselves a pig. Oh no, the wolf's still up there. It's coming back for me. I need to kill that pig, but the pig's going towards the wolf, so you know what? We're going to have to make a sacrifice. Life or death. Do we want the pig for food? But chance going towards the wolf. I think we'll just leave the wolf alone because, man, they don't give up easily at all, do they? We're also losing light, which isn't good. I need to get that pig. Come on, pig. Come back this way. Come back this way. The wolf doesn't. Oh, God. The wolf does want to know. It's right. We can run out here, right? No, nope, we've got a bear there. Brilliant. So we've got a nice little valley over here. We should probably uh, try and head out of here for the night. Build a little shelter with what supplies we managed to gather, I guess. Think about maybe building down on the coast for a change, because building up on the high rocks doesn't usually work. Oh, we got quite a fortified base over there. It's probably not a bright idea to go over there then. We got a campfire here. Someone's obviously used this to uh, cook some stuff up. Oh, we've got some bases down here. In fact, we might be able to get inside them because... Oh, that's going to hurt me. No, we're cool. We're cool. No, you can't jump over. So this place looks like a definite no to build over here because a lot of people have claimed this is their area. So I guess we're going to have to go the opposite way and see where else we can venture off to. Obviously, everyone out here is trying to survive the same as us. I think we're quite lucky not to see a player encounter yet. And usually you just see naked madmen running around. Because I don't think you spawn with any clothes on at all. I can't go into third person and have a look, but I don't think you do. Is this a rock that we can gather materials off of? Yeah, we can. Right. So, so you start off with your uh, plain basic stone, as you do with any game. You start off from the bottom and build your way up. And uh, gradually as we kind of get a nice little house going and a crafting table, we can then look into obviously building hatchets and pickaxes, which kind of give you more resources when you mine items. For instance, if you use a hatchet on a wood pile, I think you get something like 10, 10 wood each time, which is more obviously efficient than using this little stone we've got. Come on. Right, we need to kill this pig. Right, wicked. Let's kill you. We got some animal fat. We got chicken. Wait, sorry. We got chicken from a pig. All right, okay. As I said, guys, this is an alpha. <laughs> but I seriously recommend it. It's such an awesome game when you get into it. Although I found it almost impossible to survive. We've always, uh, me, Luke, and Reese, we've been playing this a little bit, and we'd build a base. And next thing you know, we come the next morning, and someone had blown our doors down and kind of raided our base, and we'd be back at, we'd be back at square square one again we'd have to gather materials again because obviously you just leave all your stuff obviously in your crates and next thing you know you come on and uh... it's all gone so it's pretty devastating when that happens i think it's all about the location and how well fortified your base is i'm pretty sure a wooden door on uh... on your house is a big no because to be honest you can pretty much break them down in like five minutes but then it... ooh got zombies around here Although it does take a lot of a uh, lot of effort, and there's I think it's 200 metal fragments to make a metal door, which probably takes quite a bit of time. So you know, it's chances you got to take. We've got a massive compound over here. I don't know what's there, but we're really struggling uh, for daylight here. So we should probably probably definitely build something soon. So guys, pretty dark, and we found a nice little place to call home for the time being, a nice little den here. So we're going to go ahead and craft a shelter. So let's have a look where are we, where are we? Uh, do, do, do. Right, we want a, well we're going to want a wooden storage box, so we'll uh, craft one of them. And that way we can store stuff in that. We're going to want a wooden door to go on our wooden shelter. That's what we want, a wooden shelter and that's just pretty much a small box but it will do us for the night I'm getting pretty low on food right now uh, luckily I've got some chicken breast that we got off the pig I mean I know it makes sense right so we can cook them up on the campfire and also oh wow I didn't actually realize what they were 
but I did some looting on the way I found these fuel tanks and there was like little crates next to them and I found a flare and the explosive charge in them which is uh, pretty sweet right wood shower craft I also uh, gathered some more wood along with some more stones so we're doing pretty good on resources at the moment and I said we'll tuck ourselves up away in our nice little shelter for the night and uh, we'll go back exploring out during the day the only problem is we are quite close to two fortificated bases hopefully we won't let them get in the way of us we also want to craft a uh, wooden door which takes how many wood? 30 wood right wicked let's chuck our little our little shelter down so I know it's quite dark at the moment but I promise you as soon as we get our nice little shelter set up won't be as bad perfect there we go so let's go in here and our door should be ready in a sec uh, yeah five more seconds let's make a campfire as well right let's put our door on and then we can start lighting this place up I think we've got to put it on from the outside man it's pitch black there we go that's a bit better isn't it alright there we go so let's make up a nice little campfire for the night so I don't have to use all my torch up man that takes 20 seconds that's a lot of time but here we go here's our here's our home this is what we're going to call home for the time being. I mean, we could always expand, but I'm not too happy about the location at the moment because there are two rather large bases quite close to us. But this is just a temporary place to live for now. Is the campfire done? The campfire is done. So let's chuck that in there because I can't see anything else. Ignite. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. We've also got a storage box, so we'll uh, chuck that down in the corner. we can put some bits and bobs in there let's chuck most of our stuff in there for now and then we'll sort our inventory out in a sec oh god there's a player I can hear a player outside let's split these up into groups awesome I love it Play, this place is pretty sweet it's not much but it's something the only thing I don't like is that there's definitely a player outside I can't really turn the fire off because I need it to uh, cook the food and it'll be way too dark without it but let's recap what we got so we've got some ammunition I found them in the box I think that's M4 ammo and that's 9mm pistol we got some cloth we need six more and we can make a sleeping bag which allows us to respawn it we got some stones and some wood so let's see if we can craft anything of that so if we get the crafting tab up where are we going? we want weapons right can we make a hatchet right we need metal fragments to make a hatchet how do we make metal fragments? see I'm pretty sure we're going to need a furnace whilst we're here actually we need low grade fuel. How do we make low grade fuel? Okay, animal fat and cloth. So to make a furnace we need 10 low grade fuel and to make one low grade fuel so we're going to need 20 animal fat. So we can't make a furnace just yet. We're halfway there. And we can't make any metal fragments but there must be some sort of weapon we can craft to give us some sort of protection surely. Hunting bow. Oh, we can go ahead and make a hunting bow how do we make arrows? let's have a little look hmm I can't see anything about that okay arrow uh, stone and wood so how effective do we think a bow would be? that is the question we can't make a pistol no damn it okay we could make a stone hatchet yeah let's make a stone hatchet there we go that's crafting away, have we got any food because we're about to die of hunger oh all our food's cooked, awesome we've got some more f 
uh, food we can cook as well. Let's put that in there. Chuck that in there like so. Uh, cook. Wicked. And we've got our hatchet, so we can we can replace it out for our lovely little rock. Uh, let's take something to eat. All right, wicked. You know, it's pretty cosy in here, guys. I'm liking it. I'm guessing it's still pretty dark outside. It's usually night time for quite a while. I feel pretty safe just leaving everything in here. Although, I would like to make another bandage, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Alright, two more seconds. Boom, we've got two bandages. Right, let's put the remainder of the cloth away. We won't need the wood on us. We don't need all that food on us. So let's put some of that away. We'll carry the three on us. The four, even. Do we need the torch? Yeah, let's carry the torch on us. So I think maybe we could go out in the night, you know? We could use a torch. Maybe we might just do that. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Right, let's uh, assess the situation in the morning and uh, we'll go out exploring. <laughs>